Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Moda, and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. So today's video, we got some pretty exciting news for you S19 XP owners. We finally got some overclock numbers, and they're looking pretty freaking good, right? Also, one other little tidbit of news, we got some possible, not 100%, but we got some confirmation on the fact that the K7 looks like it should be staying on that January 31st shipping timeline. We'll go over that here at the end. Um, but if that sounds interesting, guys, let's stay tuned. So let's get right to it. So this news is coming from a Luxor. Luxor's mining pool is what they're most famous for. So the trusted by the best in mining. And why dig Argo, HUD-8, Compute North. The list goes on and on. They have 3,500 plus active users, 100,000 miners, 10 pools. So it, they are extremely, extremely credible. They are a fairly big company. It's not one of these like fly-by-night things where you're gonna download this firmware and it's gonna corrupt your system or something, right? So they are a fairly big company, so keep that in mind. So this is from Twitter. This is from a tweet from at hash underscore bender, Nick H. And Luxor Mining retweeted this, so this is probably from their testing department. So, these are the numbers, okay? S19 XP, they were to get 201.8 tera hash. Super, super impressive, okay? Especially in comparison to what we're able to get from the S19Js and the 110s, okay? So typically those people have gotten high numbers on those too though, right? Especially those guys who have them in like immersion cooled. I've seen like 150, 160, 170 tera hash. But the problem is the efficiency goes down the toilet. The sweet spot for those tends to be anywhere from like 125 to 130 tera hash. And give or take the wattage will be between like 3,800 and 4,200. Just depending on your climate, your boards, your model, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's look at that efficiency real quick just so we have something to compare to. Um, so let's compare that overclocked version, right? Let's put it at 3,800. We'll divide it by the 125, so it's about 30.4 watts to tera hash, which goes in line about what it comes from the factory, right? Again, it can go beyond that, but usually beyond that, the efficiency starts going down, which is not good for profits, at least right now. Maybe in the bull market, just going to freaking put that thing to the max. So now we see that's about the point where, you know, the efficiency starts going down on those S19Js and S19 110s. So now... This guy, the XP, is coming in at 201.8, which is number one, super impressive. Okay, the S19 XP in factory form comes in two models. They have that 134 tera hash, 141 tera hash. Same efficiency rates, just different clocks, slightly different prices. But um, what's most, most impressive here is, right, number one, this is super impressive, right? Especially in comparison to the 134 model, it's over a 50% overclock. Okay, you're going from 134 to 201. Super impressive. Even more impressive, though, is the efficiency. Okay, look at the wattage. So it's 201 terahash. The wattage is 4.29 kilowatts, so 4,300 watts. Okay, let's put it in the calculator. This is pretty crazy. So let's do the 4,300 watts divided by the 201. Pretty much the same factory efficiency, even with this big of an overclock. Okay, so the efficiency is at 21.39. I believe from the factory it's 21.5, but that's close enough. We'll call it the same as factory. That's pretty crazy for like a 50% increase. The fact that they're still able to keep that efficiency. Insane, insane numbers. Okay, super, super impressive chip on these things. Okay, so something to really, really keep your eye on, whether you have a S19 XP or if you're looking at getting one. This is like beyond impressive, and especially even more impressive that this is an air-cooled model. This isn't like a, you know, one that's immersed and extreme overclock. This is an air-cooled model, okay? So keep in mind, though, that this is in testing phase. We don't know what the temperatures are, or they actually did post the temperatures. Temperatures looked good, but we don't know what like the ambient air temperature is Etc. Cetera, et cetera. Like me being in Florida, it's going to be a little bit different. Maybe have to go a little more conservative. But regardless, though, super, super impressive numbers. Okay, so something 
definitely keep your eye on, right? I definitely know I will. I'm definitely keep your eye on, on the competitors, okay? I'm sure we'll be seeing brains with their iteration here pretty soon, but super, super cool, super, super big news, okay? Let's see what else. So they had that, and then they had the temperatures here. You can see here the board temperatures were about 51 Celsius. Again, ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. So kudos to the team over at Luxor Mining because that is incredible, okay? And I'm sure they were getting a lot of people on that pool because I'm sure they'll have some kind of incentive for you to join their pool, kind of like how Brains does theirs with, uh, I believe it's Slush Pool who's with theirs, where instead of getting hit with the, the dev fee and the pool fee, if you go with their pool, they get rid of the dev fee. I'm sure they'll have something there. And that'll increase the incentive for people to go with their pool, right? So they haven't released any numbers, any prices or percentage fees or anything like that. This is still in testing, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. But overall, guys, looking freaking amazing, okay? So the other tidbit of news for the day was kind of a surprising one, right? We got a bit a tweet from Bitmain today, which we were not expecting to get anything this whole week because of Chinese New Year, but here we are. So this is a little early, like Valentine's Day deal, fall in love with power, Valentine's Day warm up event round one, K7, heart emoji, S19J Pro Plus, spot sale. So not really much of a sale though. So what it is, is enjoy the special price of K7 and S19J Pro Plus in ratio of two to 14. For details, please contact sales reps at via QR code, starts today, 23rd to 20th. They didn't give a time, but I'm sure it started already. So what it seems like it is, is that they'll sell you two K7s at probably the MSRP if you buy 14 of the S19J Pro Pluses. Okay, so for us little guys, don't really care about it because it's mainly for you guys putting in big orders. Again, you'd have to talk to them to confirm, but regardless, I'm not interested in the deal at all whatsoever. The news here for me was this tidbit down here. Okay, so number one, the sales from this week, right? Underneath, though, is it shipping in seven working days after fully paid? Okay, so that means that they're still keeping that timeline for the end of January, early February. So for those of you who pre-ordered, things are looking like they're on pace, right? So good news in that department. So not 100% confirmed, but for me, this is kind of what's insinuating. The only bad part is that this means that this is another batch. So on top of what it's already been sold, this is yet another batch that's coming out. So again, more miners coming out. So not the best news for a profitability, right? But we all knew it was going to happen. But um, but regardless, though, guys, it does look like it will be coming here fairly soon. No word on the others, though. No word on the KA3 or the HS3. Although considering this is event round one, more than likely they'll do some kind of thing with the KA3 or the HS3 as well, where if you buy this and that, again, not really concerned with that, but concerned with this ship date. Because I'm super, super excited, as I'm sure most of you who have pre-ordered any of these new guys are. Just want to get everything set up, want to get everything squared away, so I can start dealing with the heat issue that I'm going to be having this summer, right? <laughs> so, so I'm looking most forward to. All right, guys, just wanted to give you that quick little news update. If you've got some value in this video, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. We are a smaller channel. It does help a ton if you like and subscribe, guys. So do appreciate for those of you who have. And again, thank you for watching, guys, and I am out.